Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on the Brugly channel. This video will be all about level 3999, aka the true ending. Now, this level is from the fandom, but I don't care because I think it's pretty cool. It's one of the best ones on the fandom. But this is another way to exit the back rooms. Like I said in the last video I made about exiting the back rooms, there are no ways on the back rooms wiki dot. So we have to go over to the fandom to get the ways. And here we are with another one, level 3999. This level apparently is one of the only exits to the back rooms. I thought that the way out, my previous video, was the only way on the fandom that mentioned how to exit, but this level actually does, and a bunch of you guys told me to do it. It's got a survival difficulty of zero, and it looks like an infinite arcade. This arcade looks like it's from real life, but it's obviously not, it's in the back rooms. The outside of the place looks normal, you can see cars and trees and streetlights, just basic outside stuff. Only problem is you can't get out there until you've done a few things, which we'll talk about later. The arcade games here are not like retro arcade games like you're probably thinking. They're actually games from real life, like Minecraft, Terraria, Roblox, you know, that kind of stuff. Call of Duty even. And the machines are known to induce this really relaxing effect on you. And this effect can actually increase your sanity if you've lost any. So, nice. nice. They also induce feelings of normalcy, obviously, because they're from real life. And anything from real life in the back rooms will induce comfort and normalcy. The only downside to playing these games is if you have rage issues, because if you hit the machines or if you break something, you'll instantly faint. And every time you do that, again, you'll faint over and over again. So don't do that. There's hardly ever anyone here though, except in the colonies that I'll talk about later. That aspect alone can make people kind of uneasy about this level because it's just a huge, infinite, empty arcade. Sometimes though, these weird meteorites fall from the ceiling inside of the building, but they don't do any damage to the machines or the floors, or the ceilings or anything, which leads people to believe that they're just an illusion caused by the lights on the level, which is kind of weird, but what in the back rooms isn't weird. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can indeed get back to the front rooms or reality from this level. But to do so, you kind of have to complete a checklist, kind of like the 13 tasks Hercules had before he could, you know, become what he was. These things can last anywhere from four minutes to 12 years. And the longevity of the task depends on how hard it is. They can be anything from slaying an entity or a creature to eating a certain amount of food or drinking a certain amount of water. It really just depends. If you don't complete the tasks that you've been given, you'll either be unalived or you'll be condemned to stay in the back rooms forever and never escape. Nice. To get one of these checklists, you have to walk towards the sunset on this level, which I guess you can see through the glass panes in the windows, for an unknown amount of time. And then you'll be given a checklist in an unknown way. I really like the details here. But yeah, after you walk towards the sunset and get your checklist, you'll have it, and then you'll have to start completing your task. There doesn't seem to be a correlation on why these tasks are given to certain people, or why some of them are a lot harder than other ones, but it is what it is. If you do complete your tasks, the glass doors to the level will be opened up, and you can walk out, and you can go back to reality through those doors. There are actually a couple colonies here, like the Backrooms Colonist and Cafe Studio 52-1. Now these areas are just kind of chill, relaxing, eatery kind of areas that are on the level and these are really the only people that are here at one time. Other than that, there aren't really many wanderers here because they're out completing their tasks that they've been given by the level. The next colony is the waiters. These are the people who help you learn how to use the arcades and stuff like that. The last colony is called the Front Rooms Organization, and this is a really weird, mysterious outpost that not really many people know about. They lead people to glass doors to escape the back rooms, but again, it's unknown how that works. But it is known that they're there. Now I'm sure you've all been waiting on how to enter this level, and you can enter this level by running trueend.exe on the computer from the end level. Or you can even get here by glitching through a purple glitchy wall on level 11, which that would be really easy. You'd have to be really lucky to get that one. There's also like nine other ways to enter, but these ones are the coolest ones. There are other ways to enter the level, <laughs> but the level 11 one is pretty much the easiest, and the running the trueend.exe file is also the easiest. To exit, you can complete your given tasks and be freed from the back rooms by walking out the glass doors on the level, or you can fail your given tasks and be condemned to wander the back rooms for an eternity. There are other ways to exit the specific level of level 3099, but who cares about those? We're talking about how to leave the back rooms here. So yeah, that is it for the level explanation of level 3999. 
Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the face thing. I'm still getting the kinks worked out in the editing process, so bear with me as I transition into this kind of thing. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and let me know down below any critiques or whatever you want to see. So thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. 2022 is going to be awesome. Hope you guys are ready. Thank you for watching.